Hello everybody, 99 Does. How's everybody today? Hope everybody's doing good. I'm doing just tickety-boo. Um, I was watching a story called American Greed, and they were talking about a military guy by the name of Daryl Wright. And what Daryl Wright did, he was a, a soldier in Iraq who decided he was going to scam a bunch of people because he wanted a Purple Heart and he wanted another decorative badge for um, his uniform. So um, he stole from vets, um, stole other uh, soldier stories to make himself look good and took pictures of uh, or found pictures uh, on other soldier sites and stuff to look like he was in um, an accident. Well, it wasn't an accident, it was a bombing actually. Um, to make it look like he was one in that vehicle. Turns out that he was in the Army and the vehicle in the picture was an Air Force vehicle. And he was in the National Guard and this was a Reg Force uh, Air Force vehicle. So a lot of lying going on there. And you know what? That's exactly what the Republicans do. And people that do stuff like that are garbage. They really are. They make it harder for real PTSD victims uh, to be believed and quite literally steal from the real uh, war heroes. They steal their money through lies, made up stories, and stolen valor. That's right, stolen valor. Um, this is basically how the MAGA, uh, MAGA party treats you. They don't care. One iota about you. Um, did you hear their tearjerker's Mother's Day, please? Oh, uh, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Made me want to throw up, to tell you the truth. Yeah, happy Mother's Day. Yet they won't stand up for the most people in need. You know, babies, pregnant women, seniors, and war veterans and heroes. They don't want to stand up for those people. Um, and I would guess that most of the lawmakers in Washington and in state government as well have more money than you and I will ever see in our lifetimes. My mother used to say, if I had their money, I'd burn mine. Now, they talk about being pro-life, but that's only for the lo as long as that life is being housed inside that mother. And, extend and they just want to, uh, that baby um, has to be carried to become part of their new workforce. That is white and evangelical. That's my opinion, mind you. Just saying. Now, they are not lining up to adopt these children who are born with severe birth defects, born into families that cannot afford them, women that have been forced into having these babies, um, rape victims or incest victims. They're not lining up to adopt these children. They just want you to carry them. That's right. Um, but they'll balk at the very suggestion that childcare has to be paid for by the government, yet they have that Gilead idea in their head that the baby factory is essential to their 2025 uh, agendas and ideology. Once the child is here, however, pff, that's it for them. They balk at formula supplements for infants of poor families because you know what? Being poor is not a crime. Keeping them poor, that's a crime. They are dumbing down your kid's education and substituting world history for fairy tales. And to make sure that the kids aren't paying attention, they starve them and won't give them school lunches. And then finally, they're screwing all of the veterans in the country by closing down hundreds of clinics all over the place. And vets are quite literally dying to get appointments for their mental health care, military housing, and making them practically, uh, making them have to knit a friggin' snowsuit out of all the red tape that they have to get through. So not only did they fight for their country and get wounded and come back um, with PTSD and other disabilities, now they gotta come back and fight their own damn country for what they are so, so, richly deserved. So Republicans do not care about you. They don't. 
They only need you to vote them back in office so they can get their free medical care, $175,000 a year salary, over three months of paid vacation, because they take months off at a time, and in between the big fiasco of speakers and stuff, they took over three weeks off of governing, and they get free fancy lunches every day, and they were complaining that they didn't get wine with one of them. Are you kidding me? Please. So please, make sure you're registered to vote, and please, when you vote, Vote Democrats, because Democrats actually give a shit about how you feel and what you're going to do. They're the ones that help the vets get through. And don't give me that crap about, oh, the, uh, Donald Trump passed that bill for vets. No, he did not. That was passed by Obama. He just slapped another name on it, put his name, um, slapped a different uh, title onto it and slapped his name on it. That's all he did. That was Obama's doing for the military. So please, please make sure you're registered. Vote blue all the way down the ticket, right down to friggin' dog catcher. Even your, just vote blue. That's all. If you want something done, vote blue because this nothing's getting done with them holding meetings like they did Thursday night for that markup so they can impeach basically uh, Merrick Garland. Did you know that um, the audio tapes that they want for Biden's uh, her interview? are not mandatory to give to them. In fact, they don't have to give them to them and they never have for anybody. They never have given them out. You get a written transcript. They're just too goddamn lazy to read it. That's all. Vote Blue, Naughty Nana loves you. If you're new to the channel, give us a subscribe. Like me, love me, share me all you can. I love you so much. Let's grow this channel. Please, thank you. Have a wonderful day and please be good to you first so you can be good to somebody else. I love you so much. Take care of you.